How are you all doing? My name is Vertic and welcome to a Sony Vegas Pro 16 video. For this one, we're going to take a look at the best render settings for 720p 60 FPS. We're going to get that nice smooth 720p 60 FPS video. So as you can see from my screen, I have a short little PUBG video, which I recorded in 720p at 60 frames per second. This is crucial. So any video that you have, make sure you record it at that if you want it to look smooth. You will also render that at the same settings. Speaking of settings, we want to first of all click up here where the icon is for the gear. This is the project properties. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the width on 1280 and the height on 720. You want to go over to field order and make sure this one is on none. You want it to be progressive scan. Leave this on one, have this on zero, and you want to make sure this is on 60. So if it isn't on 60, type in 60, leave this on off, have it on 8-bit for the pixel format. You don't need it any higher. If you want it to be higher, it will take double the time and the file will be much larger. It is more recommended to have it on 8-bit. I have a video on my channel if you want to see the difference between 8-bit and 32. Next up, we have the resolution. So this one isn't really important. You can set it on best, but this is basically the video preview while you are rendering the video. It doesn't make much of a difference, but you can put it on best if you want to. It just looks better. Next up, we have motion blur type. This one is going to be on Gaussian. The one underneath that, you want to leave it on none. By default, it'll be on blend fields, but you can take it off. Then resample. This one, you really don't need this one. This one is always, always set to force or smart resample. You don't need resample. If you don't know what resample is, it just, it tries to make your video look smoother, but we've already recorded in 60 FPS. So not much difference there. Just disable it and press apply. You also want to just quickly go over the audio tab and go through this and make sure this one's on 48,000. This one's on 16 and best. And it's on stereo. Go back to video. Save your template, apply it, press OK, and then also make sure your clips aren't resampled. So if you right click on the video, go to properties and just make sure it's disabled. Double left click on the empty area. This will create you a loop region, which only renders the things inside of here. Go to file, render as, and this is where the settings start to come in. What you want to do is you want to first of all identify what your video is going to be for. Now most of us are going to upload it to YouTube so the best one for YouTube will be this one AVC slash AAC which is MP4 and you just want to scroll through and have a look at the one that says internet 720p 25 fps. Now you don't want to click on these ones because the problem is these ones don't exactly let you set it to 60. You can have it on 59 but it's not exactly at 60 fps you could put it to that if you wanted to if you want to use intel technology to render your video or if you want to use nvidia technology you can use both of these but if you just stick to this one and then click on customize template first of all we have the template name so if you want to you can give it a name so something like youtube 720p 60 fps Next up, we have the frame rate. Once again, make sure that this says HD 720, 1280 times 720. You can include the video, that is crucial. You definitely need this one. You can enable this one if you wanted to. Leave it ticked. Leave this one unticked. Profile, set this one to high. Frame rate on 60. You could just type it in. Leave this on off, don't tick it. Leave it on none. Have it on one. And the next one is really important, okay? So if you've ever seen a video with pixelation and you don't want pixelation in your video, take this one right here. This one will try its best to make your video not have duplicated frames or duplicated pixels. So what I mean by this is, let's say you have a pixelated video, it will try to reduce the pixelation from your video. Next up, we have the video bitrate. So if you're new to bitrate, this is how good the video will look. So you have two different ones. The two different options are CBR and VBR. Constant bitrate is a constant flow of bits per second. So you can either have it on this one or VBR, which will be between either one or the other. 
But in my opinion, this one's better because it can peak between different areas. You wanna set the maximum to 10 and then this one on nine. Leave the number of slices on four, have it on main concept, AVC slash AC. Next up, go over to the audio, go over where it says bit rate and change this one to 384,000. Other ones aren't really needed. You can go through them if you want to, but they're not gonna change anything. Once you're happy with it, you then press save and this will save you a new template and I'll show you how it'll look. So let's just do a quick test. Press save, press okay. And then you can see your template is right here. You can click on this little star to save it to your favorites and then turn on the filter so it only shows favorites. And then you will have it here all the time. Once you're ready to render the video, you just press render. But I like to turn off the video preview because it speeds up the rendering. So if you go to view, window, and go down to video preview. This will turn it off, but you don't have to worry about it because we can put it back in once we're done. Go back to file, render as, select your template, give it a name, and then select a location or folder. And then what you want to do is press render. And we are done. So we're just gonna open it up. And this is the video we've just rendered.